Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be talking about how to increase the top speeds of our radio control car essentially for free. That's right, we can go and increase the radio control car's top speed without adding any money into the car. And we're gonna go through three options on how we can possibly do that. At the end of the video, I'm gonna throw in a bonus fourth option on how that's possible. However, it is only a bonus because it's not one that I recommend, but I did wanna throw it out there because hobbyists and racers alike are using that method today. Let's get started and talk about our first option. Our first option option is very common within the radio control car hobby and that is to change the gearing on our radio control cars. Obviously this is only possible to do for free if you already have the parts that are necessary or required to go and change the gearing. You probably don't have the right spur gear to change the gearing within your car. However the pinion gear is quite common and a lot of radio controlled hobbyists already have a small collection of pinion gears to swap onto their brushless motor in order to alter the gearing ratio to get that higher top speeds. If you have these in your bin and, you're, and they're available to use for you on your radio control car, this is one way to get a higher top speed. The only thing that you need to do, as with anything that we talk about, is check the temperatures of your radio control car after you have run the setup for a few minutes. Check to make sure that your speed control, your brushless motor, and your battery are not exceeding the maximum thermal limitations of each or one of those components. Let's move on to the second option that we have. The second option that we have to increase the top speed of a radio control car for free is to take your nickel metal hydride battery or lithium polymer battery, whichever one you're using in your particular vehicle and warm them up. This applies to both of those battery chemistries. As you increase the temperature of the battery pack, the internal resistance of each cell is going to be reduced. And as those cells have a lower internal resistance, you're gonna extract more power from them. And the reason this happens is because of the voltage drop that you typically experience when any battery is placed under load. With less of a voltage drop, we're gonna maintain a higher amount of voltage overall that can feed the speed to your radio control cars brushless motor or brush motor if you own one of those as well. This is going to allow you to get higher top speeds from your radio control car. On the channel we've done quite a detailed video already showing as you increase the temperature you're going to get lower amounts of internal resistance from that battery pack. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to go ahead and check that out. Our third option is one that you can do if your speed control has this functionality or capability and that is to go and alter the time timing of your brushless motor and speed control. As you increase the timing of your system, you're going to increase the total amount of RPM that that motor can hit. Obviously, when you go and extract more power and you're getting higher top speeds from the motor, you should expect that the motor is going to heat up further. And that is, of course, true. The only way that you're able to go and modify the settings of your speed control, if it has this capability, is to either do it with some sort of programming card or plug it into your computer. Again, this is highly and only dependent on if the manufacturer of that speed control does provide these options as features that you can go and alter and change. So there you go, you have the three primary ways that I recommend you check out if you're looking for options to go and increase the top speed of your car. Now let's move on to that fourth option that is essentially a bonus because I certainly do not recommend this, especially for the beginner or even intermediate type radio controlled hobbyist. This is for the expert, those who have tons of experience and certainly accept and understand all the risks that are accompanied with this specific decision. The wrong move here can harm yourself, harm others around you, and even cause property damage. You get the idea. It's not the safest thing to extract a little bit more speed out of a radio control car. But if you're the racer, you're looking for everything that you can possibly get. You want to win races. You want to stay competitive. So let's talk about it. What I'm talking about here is actually affecting the battery. You know how we go and we charge each of the cells within a lithium polymer battery to 4.20 volts? 
Well, guys who are racing, and I'm sure this still happens today, it has happened quite a bit in the past, where we take the battery and instead of charging it at 4.20 as a top peak voltage, we go beyond that. And we go beyond that because we want to extract even more potential power. A higher voltage will lead to higher amounts of RPM within our radio control car. This is how we extract higher top speeds. Now, obviously, this is dangerous because I never recommend going above 4.20 zero volts. We want to keep things reliable. We want to keep them safe and we want to get performance. We get performance here, but nothing else. This is going to cause extra damage to the battery. Your battery won't live long. It's quite abusive on the battery pack itself. There are chargers on the market that will charge to a voltage that you specify. Instead of 4.20 volts, you can choose another option that is above that mark in order to get more power being placed into your pack so you can utilize that higher voltage. In this video, we're not gonna go through the specifications on how to make that possible. We'll save that for another video if we get there. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.